Now, it is my honor to welcome to the stage two incredible students from Detroit, Michigan, from Burns Elementary Middle School, Yana Ferguson and John L. Miller. to be here with you. I'm John L. Miller, I'm 11 years old, and I attend Burns Elementary Middle School. And I'm Xaviana Ferguson. John L. and I have a lot in common. We are both from the same neighborhood in Detroit, Michigan. We are both in the sixth grade. We both love to read, draw, and we are both very fast runners. All true, <laughs> all true. Please don't worry if you see me and Xaviana racing around outside. She's been bragging that she's faster than me, and I'm going to have to set her straight before we leave Atlanta. I'm fascinated. Janelle, you're funny, because I am. <laughs> but all true, we rode a plane for the first time in our lives, and although we spoke to a large crowd at Better World Day, this audience is about 15 times bigger. <laughs> And it takes a lot of courage to speak in front of big crowds, but it's easier when we have each other. <laughs> for many of us growing up, <laughs> for many of us growing up in Detroit, life is a struggle. I am lucky. I have an amazing role model in my life. My mother, she's sitting right up front with my little sister Tina. To me, my mom is a very successful person. She has self-respect and expect respect from others, which is our district motto. She, te <laughs> she teaches me to never follow the crowd and to always be an individual. And in our family, we believe in trust, honesty, and to always do what is right, even when it is hard. My role model, sitting right next to your role model. I went to with my, I went to with my auntie Deborah and my cousin Michael when I was four years old. And living with my auntie Deborah set me up for success in life. And my cousin Michael taught me how to be the man of the house, like to wash the dishes, take out the trash, wipe the table, and mostly important, taking the initiative and helping out whenever it's possible. In our family, we believe in treating others the way you want to be treated, and always being good, even when no one is watching. And only bring an A's and B's home from school, never a C. <laughs> Last year's work at school was different in a lot of ways. First, we got the classroom to do field work at the Heidelberg Project. We were searching for inspiration that we could then draw our little light berries. We got to work with local artists who gave us sketch pads and access to draw meaningful things that we could then draw our little libraries to spark a press interest open in the door. And second, we, got, we built those little libraries you just saw. And third, we got to celebrate our work in public, under a tent, and with cupcakes. <laughs> we couldn't have done all these amazing things on our own. I enjoy going to Burns Elementary Middle School. The teachers and staff are nice, and they always go above and beyond to help students. Our fifth grade teacher, Ms. Perry, she did a lot for us because she wanted us to be successful, and we'll always appreciate that. We also had the help and guidance of our community partners who were super helpful and pushed us to be creative with our work. For example, Mr. Tim is Mr. Tim and Mrs. Nicole from Detroit Hobbs, who convert vacant lots all over the city into urban beef farms. And Mr. Knight, who supports young men as they exit juvenile detention and re-enter society. I loved, getting out to, I loved getting out to our community and meeting people who work to make Detroit a better place. Learning about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the EL curriculum and studying human rights in real life in Detroit made me feel powerful and hopeful. There are a lot of people out there who's doing what is right, even when it is hard, just like in my family. And by creating these little light berries, we're giving something valuable to our community and treating others the way we want to be treated, just like in your family. We are also proud to say that we are not alone with the literacy work in Detroit. Every single public school student in Detroit up to eighth grade has taken on the challenge of the EL education curriculum. <laughs> it's amazing. 
Damn, it's really hard. <laughs> but I got to say, we do agree with the film. Literacy is a silver right. You can't learn to be a great reader and writer without hard work. The challenge is what makes it powerful. We hope more and more Detroit students out there learn to use their growing literacy skills to contribute to a better world. Also, having a chance to celebrate our accomplishments is so important. We were given the honor to speak on behalf of our classmates at Bitter World Jane again, here in Atlanta, knowing that our teachers, our families, our community partners, and all of you believe in us enough to listen has had the biggest impact on me and Xaviana. Being able to do all of this has been a tremendous honor, and we'll remember it for the rest of our lives. Thank you all so much for listening.